Right, Ninja Bike Messenger Bag. I need to make my thoughts and feelings on this very clear from the off. It is going to be a very interesting and fun way to play. It's going to add a whole new dynamic to the game. It is just going to be fun and interesting. That's it. It is not going to be meta. It is not going to be the most powerful backpack in the game. It is most likely not going to replace Memento in any way, shape or form. There are two reasons for this. One, I'm seeing a lot of people already say that it's going to max out every brand and gear set. This is utterly ridiculous. This is essentially the equation for the high-end meta DPS build. Perfect Glass Cannon, Vigilance, Contractors, Foxes, Famas, blah de blah de blah I've not added in a weapon talent. Now, if Memento's placeholder, but if Ninja Bike Messenger Backpack maxed out every gear set and brand set, we could make something like this. This is the equation for this, with all four gear set bonuses. This is the difference in their DPS. Headshot is a 667% difference. Body shot, 840. Per shot, you're averaging about 470% difference this would literally make legendary feel like story this is the equation for the meta strikers dps build with famas still an improvement well above the high end but a hell of a lot more damage compared to our magical ninja bike messenger backpack Admittedly, it is closer, but headshots are still below by 357%, body shots 310 And although we've closed the gap shot per shot, we are still between 250 and 350% lower shot per shot. I very much doubt Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads, backpack, sorry, will max out every set bonus so you have to put one piece on and ta-da away you go that would be pure comedy it would completely and utterly break the game and i promise you now if this is the case i am stopping playing because that is just beyond fucking ridiculous it would actually be a joke yeah Right, let's move away from the magical bullshit and just look at what we know. Not available in the PTS, Ninja Bike, Messenger Bag, Exotic Backpack, Talent, Resourceful. Slots in with any equipped gear and or brand set to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a and or brand set bonus. Allows you, I assume, to unlock bonuses from multiple sets simultaneously if anyone's ever played diablo 3 think ring of royal grandeur now because i like to think of myself as interactive we're going to do a little experiment for your tank builds what are you replacing no one uses 511 so that's out brazos skill haste skill tier magazine size one piece brazos could be worthwhile just run picaros and then that backpack get yourself a skill tier but there's still one problem. What were you running on your backpack originally? Bad to tough. Shotgun damage. 5% total armor. 10% armor on kill. Armor on kill is going to be worthwhile. But the 5% total armor isn't. Bellstone. 1% armor regen. 10% armor on kill. That could be worthwhile. But again. What are you replacing on your backpack? I mean if you were running something like. Intimidate Adrenaline Rush. Well you've now got to replace Intimidate. And there goes... 40.71% of your total damage. Giligard, 5% total armor, 10% health, useless, 1% armor regen. So you're gonna give yourself 10% health for total for completely being useless just to get 1% armor regen. Don't think so. Golem gear, 10% status effect. This could be useful depending on your build. 1% armor regen. Um it's 1%, and most builds that we use one piece golem. 1% armor regen is going to do somewhere between fuck all and nothing. 
Uzina, 5% total armor, 10% armor on kill, 10% hazard protection. This could actually be worthwhile depending on what you're replacing on your backpack, but the only place I can think of where it would be worthwhile would be in the Iron Horse raid as a Hasbro tank. Yo, for those that like running, if you have it, probably gonna get messages about it, but if you've got your Crit Hollow Man, maybe running Crit Hollow Man for your 10%, damage to health and then getting a random lovely bonus of 5% weapon damage on top of that could be worthwhile. Again though, what are you replacing on your backpack? Skills, Alps, 20% repair skill, 20% skill duration, 10% skill haste. No one really uses anything other than one piece Alps anyway because the rest of it is kind of dumb. China Light, Explosive damage and skill haste, this could be worthwhile. However, the only thing that you would use this on would be a mortar build. And I can tell you now, perfect shock and awe is 100% of the time going to outperform that backpack. Empress International, this is probably the only thing it could be worthwhile on just because it's a free 10% skill efficiency. But again, what are you replacing your backpack with? Hannah Yu. Skill haste, skill damage, weapon damage. It's a skill build. You're not really going to be focused on weapon damage. Crit and crit damage will outperform that easily. Murakami. Don't really see this come up a lot. Richter and Kaiser. I, I think I've used one piece once and then decided this is bad. I'm not going to do it again. Wyvern wear. I only really ever use one piece. It's because when it comes to status effect, farming for that Golan piece is just so much more effective. Again though, what are you replacing on your backpack? Now, just because I'm going to make it easy on myself, the reason I keep saying what are you going to replace on your backpack is quite simple. And it's mostly highlighted essentially here. Minus Walker and Harris, which is damage to armor and damage to health, they're both multiplicative. Pretty much every other stat, minus headshot and crit damage, crit chance is an arbitrary thing, but headshot is a multiplier, crit damage is a multiplier. Everything else, AR damage, pistol damage, crit chance, essentially is additive, weapon handling, everything else is additive. So, if you remove the ones that are crit damage, headshot, and Walker and Harris, now, from here, you would essentially already have six stats, essentially. And you're going to be gaining another five. But then you're also losing one because you're using Ninja Bike Backpack. So, what I'm going to ask you now is add any four of them. Doesn't matter what ones, you can go crazy, pick ones at random in random places. You need to make up 58%. So let's just go one piece of Rowdy. It's not in the game yet, but the two piece Hasberg. So that is already 25%. We'll just call it weapon damage. All right. Then we're going to go for D&H, which is 20% pistol. So we're at 45 now, but we've got one more. Got one more stat. And the only ones that are actually going to be available is like 10% rifle or whatever add them all together that's a total if we could have some magical weapon of 55 percent weapon damage we need to make up 58 and that's with me just hopping about all over the place obviously you're not going to be able to do that but that should just give you an idea of how much of a effectively nerf this backpack actually is just to make up vigilance you're not going to be able to do it. And it's not just vigilance as well, like concussion, unstoppable force. If you were running Bloodsucker or Adrenaline Rush with Intimidate, you're not going to be able to do it. It is going to take so much away from your build. Like, it's technically, it's such a bad piece, you can't even cheat to outperform it, which is what I was just doing by just picking random stats, whether they were one, two, or three pieces. I was just picking random stats, ignoring the prerequisite, just going for that the stat I wanted, and I couldn't even make up the damage difference of Vigilance. Not to mention that the majority of the two-piece 
bonuses are actually things like stability, accuracy, weapon handling. Like, a lot of them are just categorically not worth it. The one thing that it is going to do, because I've done a lot of experimenting with other weapons outside of the meta, and I, I personally really like the AKM. It feels like an absolute beast. But the handling and the accuracy, stability, bloody bloody blah, blah, is shocking. So I typically build, when I build this weapon, I do 3-piece DNH, 2-piece Overlord, and then whatever backpack. I, I think it's like a Cheska backpack, just to make up some of the crit chance. Although this weight makes the weapon more viable, it's more stable, it's more accurate, I can hit things at a decent range, I have dropped so much potential for the weapon, because where typically I would be running pieces that give headshot, crit chance, crit damage, other multipliers, I'm having to forego those to get weapon handling in, so that the weapon is actually usable. The only thing this backpack is going to do is that you can now run essentially what would be more considered the standard meta setups, but where you've got contractor's gloves, you would then have the 10% weapon handling as well. Where you've got Fox's prayer, you'd have 20% accuracy as well. All it's going to do, it's going to keep everything in the same order of how powerful it is, but it's just going to squish them up slightly. The top end is still going to be the top end, and that's theoretically not actually going to move it's just going to bring the bottom end up like four or five percent consecutively like across the board they're all going to stay in the exact same order but where akm has a ridiculously high sustained dps the problem was not really able to hit a lot of things with it you now are but again you're going to be losing things like vigilance concussion Unstoppable Force, Composure, these things alone are going to outperform at least two or three additional brand set bonuses. In some cases, up to five, with Vigilance, depending on how you play. If you're an absolute headshot monster, nothing you add to it is going to outperform Concussion. And this is actually pretty much the exact same again with Skill Builds. Things like Calculated and Tech Support, this is 25% total skill damage, so it will be equated the exact same way in which Vigilance would be, it's total weapon damage, total skill damage, they're the same thing. Nothing you can do is going to outperform that with this back, with Ninja Bike Backpack, it's not going to happen. And then... To be honest, with like things like just your standard turret and drone build, I am a firm believer in best in slot in this scenario is Memento. Yes, you are taking a slight hit because no more total skill damage, but that extra 30% skill efficiency is worth so, so, so much more. Skill efficiency, like percent for percent, is the most powerful stat in the game. This is what skill efficiency gives. 1% 1 1 skill efficiency gives 1% damage, 2 haste, 1 duration, 1 health, 1 repair, 1 status effect. You have 30 of it. So that's 30% everywhere apart from 60% skill haste. You could literally combine everything. And you're not going to make that up. You're just not. Now, with all this being said, I do think that this backpack potentially could be viable on pure tank builds. We're talking Iron Horse Key Tank, Iron Horse Stagger Tank. However, this completely depends on what core and attribute roles this backpack comes with. If it's anything like the other Ninja Bike Messenger piece we've got, we're looking weapon damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage. In which case, this backpack is null and void, dead in the water from the start. It's useless. Potentially could be worthwhile in varying different stacking mechanics, but it's going to be more of a team mechanic rather than a solo build. If it's got a skill tier, I'm sorry to say Memento is still going to outperform it. As with the named Hanayu backpack, just a Wyvern backpack with tech support or calculated on is going to categorically outperform it. 
the only way in which this backpack could actively be useful if it, if it came with a blue core, it could be potentially quite worthwhile in flat out tank builds. That's it. That being said, if they're smart, it will release in the same manner in which Memento did. It's got one of every core. One blue, one red, one yellow. That's pretty much the only way in which this backpack can be viable in the current state of the game. However, like I said at the start, it is going to be interesting. It is going to be fun. It's going to be a new and wacky weird way to play. But it's not meta. It's... In my personal opinion, it's so bad, I struggle to even call it a novelty item. It's not even remotely good. And considering Massive's track record of introducing varieties of different things from Division 1, ask any Division 1 player about the lightweight M4 and then how they like it in Division 2. The Lavoa C, or whatever it's called. Pretty much everything they have implemented from Division 1 into Division 2 has been poor, to say the least. So yeah, all the hype around this backpack and all the crap I'm seeing on YouTube already is clickbait nonsense. They don't understand what the hell the implications of this bag even means. And I can't wait for the absolute mess that these people are going to create going, oh my god, this backpack is amazing. Check out this new OP build. And it's statistically probably one of the worst builds I've seen. Like, again, presentation is key. If you're going to make a shit build, at least just call it a shit build. So yeah, the Me Ninja Bike Messenger Backpack is not good. It's not going to be good. The only way in which it can be even remotely viable is if it drops, if it comes with one of each three cores. And maybe an interesting way of having it is it's got like three different styles. I don't know. Maybe you can get one with like weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, and another one that will come with like a skill tier and then 10% skill efficiency that would be worthwhile or another one that comes with a blue core and then has pro and armor regen or something that could maybe make it worthwhile and mix it up a little bit but we're probably not going to get that so yeah I wouldn't get too hyped about the bag it's probably going to be a mess it's from what we know of it so far which is very little but from what we do know of it so far there should be no hype around this bag. It's categorically bad with the information we have. This may very much well change when the bag comes out. It might have 30% weapon damage on it, two armor cores worth of armor, and it might give two skill tiers. In which case, go nuts. Yeah, I, I'd agree then, but what's the chances of that happening? Until we know more, there's no point. In the meantime, have fun, good luck, don't die, it's bad for the health.